Hello, my name is Jerry. I'm an artist and I made the pictures that we have in this book, Where Are You Puffling? Written by Eric and McGann. Now, as we're all stuck inside so much these days, we're finding loads of things that we can do, like reading books. Now, as well as reading, I know that we all love to draw. I thought we could draw some of the birds and the animals that we have in Puffling. There she is on the cover herself. I don't know if you've seen that there is a mini version. So maybe some of you have seen the World Book Day special edition. Found it in the bookshop. Have a look at the big one. Nice big picture. So Puffling is quite the character. Here she is rolling on her back. Where else? She's walking around the island. She's usually running off somewhere. So we're going to draw Puffling out for a walk where she is on the boat. And this will be a very simple to do drawing, step by step. I hope you can draw along with me. Don't forget you can pause the video anytime. Um, okay, so let's get started. Now I'm going to do Puffling's head here at the top and then her body down here. Really simple shapes. Let's start off with that head. Round and round and round, 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 round and round, I'm nearly there. Okay, so that's almost a circle, the puffing's head. Then her body, I'm going to put it here, another circle, and I'm going to leave a couple of gaps which will make sense in a couple of minutes. And then round and round and round, I'm going to leave a gap there, and then keep going. Round and round and round and round, up to here. Okay, so this is going to be Puffing's head, and this is her body. Now, to start with, we need to get some life onto Puffing, see her character. We're going to put on her face before we do anything else. Put on her beak. Puffins have amazing colours on their beak. Pufflings, the baby Puffins, have a grey colour beak that will change when she gets older. So you can see I've done a diamond shape there. Okay, and then to close her beak, I'm going to just put in two lines like that. Okay, so it's really easy to open up her beak again. Just put in a line there, and another line just over here. And now we can see her tongue inside. So if you're doing the beak with me, you can see there's lots of triangles. A triangle on the top, and then another one upside down, giving us that diamond. Then another triangle inside, and then another triangle for her tongue inside that. Okay, her eyes. Puffly needs to see where she's going and to see all of us. So putting one eye here, round circle, and then the other eye back there, round circle. Give her pupils, and she can see us. Okay, Puffly, we're going to put in a little shape here both sides of the beak and they're kind of stretchy parts that the puffins have at the side of the beak to help them to hold even more fish in there. Now why did I leave these two gaps? Any guesses? Yes, her wings. So we'll put in one wing over here, there we go, and then the other wing, that kind of a shape, again over there. So there's puffins wings. This gap that's for her foot. There we go. Just put in one foot sticking up in the air because she's taking a step and doing a round curvy shape like that. And then I want to go half a curve and then another half a curve. So we get the full foot. Three points, three toes. Okay, let's put in her second foot which is on her little leg. Put in the leg first, kind of like a little straw. And to put in her foot this time, I'm going to show you a special trick when they're doing web feet on a bird. Put in a dot either side. You know, join the dots. That's what we're going to do. And then another dot in the middle, down here. So then it's easy enough to join that line with that over there. 
join this down to the middle, and then to join that one as well down to the middle. Okay. So we've got a web foot there and a web foot there. And these web feet have claws, because puffins live by the sea, dig a burrow in the ground. There's not really many trees where they live. So we put in those claws there. That is, the burrow is where they have their nest. Put claws in on the other one. Then just put in a little line there and then another line just there. It gives a kind of a 3D look to the puffins, puffin's feet. Now puffling has a white belly and then a dark gray black color on her fluffy feathers around the rest of her, her body. You can just put in a white belly with a circle again, a round curvy shape to about there. And then we could color it in afterwards, just here and leave that white. Okay, so where she lives, we said she's out walking. There would be flowers on the, on the Skellig Islands. There's lovely white flowers in the summer, purple ones as well. All those kinds that you see in the mountains. And there's some grass. Over here, some more grass. Oh, I just thought of something. We could put in a little friend of Puffling's. Any ideas what I'm drawing now? If you like, you can draw along as well. This other character. Another shape. Over here. Okay, any guesses? This will be a help. Round and round and round. Huh? And then we'll put in a couple of eyes. It's a snail, little friend. He's worried that he's going to get squashed by Puffling's foot coming on top. So there's our drawing of Puffling. If you've drawn the drawing as well, it would be really nice to see it. You could share it. Uh, ask a grown-up to post uh, social medias with, let me see, hashtag draw a puffin. The next picture we do will be a puffin. Puffin. Okay. So I think I'll color this in there as well. looking. Of course you could use paint, pencil, but now I'm going to use magic finger to smudge it all in. It gives you a nice fluffy, fluffy look. Puffins, black fluffy feathers. They keep her really warm inside of that burrow. Okay. So black fluffy feathers. Now we can see her white belly. And then she'd have colors inside of her beak is orange. So you can use pencil or anything for this. Um, quite messy actually with what I'm using. Um, her beak then is a gray color. It will change when she gets older. And then her feet are kind of gray. But what we're going to do is use a dull orange now we can put in some color on the grass her friend the snail greeny 